Okay. Um, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put them together again and again and again and again and again. Put your hands together for Charlie Brown. Thank you very much. Can I have a good night, ladies and gentlemen? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. First show of the new year. Who is it to try January? Good. I do. I do. Every day this month, I had a dry martini. Yeah, so. So next month, I turn 35. Woo! It's the day before Valentine's Day. Did you? I did get a Valentine's card last year, but. Happy Valentine's Day! Remember, if she scares you, she's the one. Love Amber Heard. <laughs> so, you know, the, you know, the other thing I, the, you see in Valentine's Card that irks me is that if she calls you an idiot, she's the one. Oh yeah, because anybody with low self-esteem or abusive partners will love that. <laughs> and they're always geared towards men, aren't they? You'd never sell that shit to women, would you? Say, dearest, if he smacks your ass and calls you sugar tits, he just might be the one. <laughs> but, uh, we got any couples then? All right, I'm going to score tonight. <laughs> so, they say that personality is what counts in a relationship. That is what strengthens it, makes it last throughout the years. Well, my girlfriend's schizophrenic, so sport the choice. <laughs> I got two sets of feedback for that joke. One loved it, one hated it. And they're from the same person. <laughs> so, one time, uh, we had an argument with her. We had a disagreement over the definition of gaslighting. I managed to change her mind. <laughs> so, at one time I got her a finger trap for her birthday. Funny enough, that's what she calls her genitals. <laughs> now, now they say it is the job of every comedian to know where to draw the line. I do, it's downstairs in the lavatory. <laughs> If I on my way over here, I saw a bunch of middle-aged fellows wearing just raincoats. Well, that was a funny flash mob. <laughs> I got it. So, <laughs> so anyway. So what kind of comedian am I? Well, I'm the, I'm the type of comedian who likes to make people laugh and groan. It's a policy I've adopted both as a comedian and as a gigolo. <laughs> and I hear it's someone's birthday today. <laughs> but, right, so in the news, so I hear in the news that in the news that um, Gary Glitter might get out of prison early this year. Spoilers for the current series of The Masked Singer. <laughs> yeah, you know, my dad always used to tell me that. The worst thing you can do to an enemy is just ignore them. I now understand why he was kicked out of the army. <laughs> he used to tell me that everyone's beautiful on the inside. <laughs> Until he had his colonoscopy. <laughs> he said, behind every successful man there is a woman. Especially if you're into s and <laughs> A friend of mine said, Shake what your mama gave you. I was never allowed pets again after that. <laughs> yeah, so they say that sex is a great way to lose weight. Well, I got, well I'm currently banned from Weight Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> My mum always said that there's no such thing as a free lunch. That's why her soup kitchen closed. <laughs> <laughs> there were, she had, had one of her pet peeves that she doesn't like waste restaurant stuff called calling people guys. So, so I've told them in advance that yeah, don't say that word. No, they don't call us guys. They call us wankers. So 
So, um, it's great to see that the comedy scene in Exeter is building up, slowly but surely. I don't mean to say the comedy scene in Exeter used to be dead, but the last place I've performed there used to be a mortuary. <laughs> I still got a shag afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm a hat person. Easy thing to miss, I know. <laughs> Now, see, there's this unwritten rule about you see somebody wearing a hat. It's okay to either yank it off the ball, just not just ask to wear it, just beg and plead to wear it. Please let me try your hat on, it looks so nice. I have found out the hard way that the same exact rule does not apply to women's bras. <laughs> Double standards, eh? What can you do? <laughs> oh, hello there, but that's a smashing pair of knickers you're wearing. <laughs> Would you mind if I tried them on? Oh, they will go so well with my collection. <laughs> mm, I don't care that they haven't been washed. <laughs> there are plenty of people wearing glasses. Uh, you ever lend somebody your glasses? They always say the same thing, don't they? Oh, your eyesight's bad. Like, no. Oh, nothing gets past you, does it? I mean, do you sit in people's wheelchairs and go, oh, I'm not going to... Not going anywhere fast, are you? <laughs> yeah, you do meet some interesting people in this comedy game. You know one person I met? Suella Braveman's gynecologist. <coughs> and he told me the first time he examined her, he took one look up there, he said, Fuck me, there is just no end to this cunt. <laughs> I usually tell that joke about Pretty Patel, but it probably, well that's just lazy repackaging. Well, seeing as we pretty much got Patel Mark II, not really. What kind of name is Pretty Patel anyway? Sounds like a rejected bongo. So, hi, I'm Pretty. Well, of course you are. Pretty Patel. I must be dreaming. So, speaking of people, I was speaking of people whose names I thought were fictional. I tell, do you know there's a fellow called Newt Gingrich? Well, where the fuck does he work? Hogwarts. Hogwarts. <laughs> That's it. So we got uh, plenty of uh, students there. Hello, the students from the University of Exeter Comedy Society. Go, I've heard comedians are getting younger, but come on. <laughs> so, uh, my degree is in film studies. Done uh, very well. It's done well. I kind of, sometimes I lament the kind of, that so many great filmmakers never got uh, had, for projects that were unfulfilled, never saw the light of day, like Stanley Kubrick's Napoleon, Roman Polanski's Lolita. The rest of you can look it up when you get home. <laughs> so. oh, it's a shame that uh, my comedy and I seem to end the same way as my romantic engagements. <laughs> I've got to go, that would be five minutes is almost up. <laughs> so I want to leave you with some great words of wisdom I was given. People who live in glass houses should change estate agents. Thank you very much. <laughs>